Hey there friends, Nibs again. I'm gonna get out in the garage and do a little goofing around today. <clears throat> Got a wet and rainy, what we like to call raw day up here in upstate New York. Pretty cold out. Actually had some snow going on this morning, but it's converted over to rain, but it's still pretty cold out. So uh, we're gonna stay inside for, for today, but <clears throat> been thinking about this for a while. I've been reading on online uh, different sides of you know what happens when you put your pellet in backwards in your pellet gun I've read as much as it'll ruin your gun it'll throw off your accuracy it'll reduce your foot per second um, and I've also read some stuff where people say that you know it actually acts as like a hollow point for a, a, a hunting round too so and gives you better effect effectiveness there so um i'll probably make this into a couple part series because uh so today i'm thinking that i will do just some accuracy testing with it we'll do a, a group with uh the pellets going normal so we know what it should be doing and then we'll flip them around and and hit another bullseye and see if we can prove or disprove that they'll be less than accurate um, maybe another addition I will uh, do some crony testing see what that reveals and then uh, <clears throat> on a better day when it's nicer outside I was thinking if I took some cans and filled them with water um, that would give us a good representation of you know what the impact may or may not be better or less uh, by flipping those around I would think that that would give you a little more punch assuming they're accurate enough uh, when you flip them around but so anyway um, today what we're gonna do is I've got a, a target downrange here uh, again we're, we're only like 20 feet across the garage here because that's all I have but um, it should yield up some results that we can we can measure and, and take a look at so um, I picked these uh, these are just some crossman flat nose wide cutter type pellets and I picked these ones out for a couple of reasons but mainly because I was looking over the pellets that I have and these ones actually seem to have about the thinnest skirt of ones that I could find so it's gonna give us a little more maybe a little more expansion or, or deformation as it's leaving the barrel uh, I'm thinking so it may give us a little more of a, a variation from forward to backwards and uh, <laughs> they're very inexpensive so I'm not uh, wasting higher dollar pellets uh, goofing around like this so but anyway so we'll do we'll do a set probably do five at least five pellets going forward and I'm using the the game model 126 super match shooting it off a fairly steady rest here And it gives me another reason to get out and play with my new rifle, so. Always looking for a reason for that, right? Always gotta keep, gotta remember to close that breech before I close the uh, charging handle or else it won't charge around. Looks like we're all one hole here so far, which I really kind of expected. I 
I just hope this gun is not so. Oh, yeah, see there, I did it there. Got to remember to close your breech before you close the charging handle. So this is number four going forward. Oh, I, that was me. So my my front globe is so the the dot in there is so small that at this distance those little tiny discs over there are bigger than the hole there so it's hard for me to <clears throat> hard for me to line up but let's do one more do one more forward Honestly, I can't say that I've ever tried shooting a think I've ever tried shooting a pellet backwards. So. Okay, here goes nothing. It's in there backwards. <laughs> So far it looks like the point of impact's about the same as the other ones. Maybe this gun is just... that good that it can stabilize them going backwards too. <laughs> Maybe they're more accurate going backwards. <laughs> or maybe it just doesn't matter. I was kind of expecting maybe we would see some some flaring out and a, a little bit larger impacts there, but or maybe some tumbling. I don't know, but uh, I don't think there's any difference. At least not at this range. All right, here's number five. <clears throat> well, I can see the group from here, and <laughs> there's definitely absolutely no difference uh, in that group size from forward to backwards. Um, any differences in the the group shape or whatever like that is just like I was saying. My my front globe is bigger than that circle down there so it's hard for me to line that up uh, 100% perfect but uh, 
anyway, so uh, myth best, uh, myth buster episode number one here, uh, at least for this gun. Pellets forward, pellet backwards, doesn't affect accuracy in one little bit. So, anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell, and you'll get notified when I do post up new videos. But until next time, have a great day.